All right, everybody, this is Miracle Maker Melissa Firestone. Um, Melissa, would you like to tell everybody kind of what you are starting to do with my hair? <laughs> well, we've got, the good thing is that we have a very large um, section that isn't colored um, or just lightly colored, so I don't actually have to do anything to this. We're just going to be lifting the darker portions, which are from here to here to the ends. So I'm just going to be applying um, a color remover to lift that up. Uh, thankfully, because we're not going too light, we don't have to leave it on too long. Right. Because her hair is curly. Curly hair by nature is quite dry. Mm -hmm. Drier. Yes. Um, so, and that's because uh, straight hair grows out like this and curly hair grows out like this so the oil doesn't go mm -hmm. all the way down and gets kind of trapped. Okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and um, lift it out and be good. Cool. I'm excited. I think I it's going to be beautiful on I you. I do too. I will have to say there are a couple of grays up here. We'll be able to cover those. <laughs> okay. It's okay. I'm proud of them, but at the same Usually, time, I want to know we have damage control on them. So, cool. All right. Thanks for saying with me. Yeah. See? <laughs> well, not really because we're about to put this up on YouTube. So. <laughs> well, it was safe with me. It was. We're letting it kind of saturate so um, now that really dark muddy color that she was just talking about it's kind of it's gonna be like stripped away so here here begins the process that you had in your hair. <laughs> hair color is always in your hair until you um, grow it out. It doesn't matter how, it's only, been, if it's been a year, it's mm -hmm. still in your hair. Right. So here's your natural, that's a color, wow. that's a color, and then there's like a reddish color on There's a red head. that I totally um, denied doing, yeah. and she's like, no girl, you have it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. That's like right there. So anyway, that's all gonna go away. Yeah, so I'm all like this right now. I'm like, because you're excited. It's weird too because there's something ther therapeutic about this, <laughs> like, you know? Well, it's self-care. Yeah, it's self-care, but also like you feel like you're, um, you are transitioning. All right, so Melissa has just put the color on and now I'm just gonna sit for about 30 minutes and um, then we will go to our next step. Styling by Melissa. Yes, she's busy right now. So you're doing such a good job. <laughs> so we're, we've done the, uh, the full base color. Put your head down. As okay. you can see, that light patch is gone. And um, emerged is this beautiful dark chocolate color, so which nice. is that base that we wanted. It gives a lot of peachiness to her skin. Put in some highlights uh, to break the color up. Um, usually, I like to place the highlights and do the color at the same time. But because we were working with so many different colors, mm -hmm. I didn't want. Um, I wanted to work with one nice piece of hair, so then that way it would all oxidize out the right way. <laughs> Highlights are in. <laughs> As you can see, we got lots of beautiful caramel pieces. Really broke up that really dense chocolate color. And she'll have some nice highlights all the way to the root uh, ends. So now we're just going to blow dry and she'll be finished. Amazing. Wow. See how pretty that is? Oh my gosh. Here it is, everybody. Ta da! And I'll let Missy talk. All those beautiful, see how we broke up the, that, that deep color with some highlights. Mm -hmm. And we didn't do a haircut, but 
But you already had a nice one, so it was good. Thank you. Yeah, great. Thank you, Missy. Come see her in Los Feliz, please. And also subscribe to her YouTube channel, Technicolor Cutie. She is amazing, and she's a vlogger, and she also clearly is amazing at pinup. So <laughs> check her out. Thank you so much, Missy. You're welcome. I appreciate you.